Juana Inez de la Cruz. A brilliant 17th century Mexican nun, poet and scholar was a woman of many talents and secrets. In her convent cell, she penned some of the most exceptional poetry and philosophical works of her time. But there's another aspect of her life that remains a subject of intrigue, her relationships with women. Born Juana Inés de Asbaje y Ramírez de Santillana in 1648, Sor Juana entered a convent at a young age to pursue her passion for learning. However, her thirst for knowledge extended beyond theology and literature to her relationships with her fellow sisters. Sor Juana was known for her close bonds with several women in the convent. Among them, Sister Maria Luisa, her confidant and friend, stood out. Their friendship was marked by an exchange of passionate letters filled with affectionate language. Some historians suggest that these letters contain coded messages hinting at a deeper, romantic connection. In one letter, Sor Juana wrote to Sister Maria Luisa, May these letters also serve as evidence, both of my desire to write to you and of the promptness with which I do so, that the delay may not seem to arise from lukewarmness lack of affection, or any change in my will. While it's essential to recognize that the language of the time may not easily translate to our modern understanding of relationships, the intensity and emotional depth of Sor Juana's letters suggest a profound connection. Sor Juana's life was complex. She was a fierce advocate for women's rights and education, using her writing to challenge societal norms. However, her outspokenness and unorthodox views eventually led to conflict with the church authorities. In 1694, she was forced to give up her books and writing, leading to a period of silence and withdrawal. The mystery of Sor Juana's romantic relationships with women adds another layer to her multifaceted story. Her life is a testament to the power of intellect, passion, and the enduring legacy of a remarkable woman who defied convention in pursuit of knowledge and love, leaving behind a rich body of literature that continues to inspire to this day.